What a terrible wreck on I-64. Deputies in Franklin County tell us they had to rush two high school students to the hospital. You're watching WKYT News on the CW Lexington. I'm Kristen Kennedy. The Franklin County Sheriff says emergency crews rushed a 16-year-old driver to UK Hospital with life-threatening injuries. Her passenger, we're told, has non-life-threatening injuries. WKYT's Michelle Chamberlain found out an off-duty paramedic helped even before police got there. She has our top story at six. I-64 westbound in Franklin County was closed at mile marker 58 for most of this morning. The closure due to a single vehicle crash involving two high school students. The Franklin County Sheriff's Department says the driver was airlifted to UK Hospital with life-threatening injuries. And that driver, we are told, is a 16-year-old student at Franklin County High School. It's, uh, it's always tough when you see a young person, um, especially in a serious crash with life-threatening injuries. Um, this is a, a, a very, very serious crash. Sheriff Melton says an off-duty Lexington paramedic helped the girl and was able to assist with her injuries before first responders arrived on the scene. Was able to render first aid uh, and, and probably what, what I would think probably saved her life. He was gone by the time I got to the scene, and uh, but but he did a life-saving thing for her, and, and that's huge. Sheriff Milton telling me the cause of the crash is still unknown. In Franklin County, Michelle Chamberlain, WKYT. And both teenagers are students at Franklin County High School. The sheriff is not yet releasing their names. The crash is similar to others involving the ET Plus guardrail system. Our investigative team took a look at that system last fall. We found that it is suspected of having a dangerous defect that could cause it to slice through cars in a crash. At the time of our story, last November, the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet estimated there were hundreds of those guardrails on state roads. Earlier this year, Kentucky temporarily banned installation of the guardrails. Right now, the sheriff says he is looking into the possibility the ET plus guardrail was one involved in today's crash. 